everyone, and welcome to another playthrough in Phantom Investigation. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at a challenge that many, many of you have suggested. I actually don't know how many people have requested me to do this, but I do know that there were three people that really, really want to see this video happen. So this challenge comes to us from Albert, Gary, and Connor Hazen. All three of them have pretty well suggested the exact same challenge to varying degrees, but the main focus was that they want the ghost to be found through passive evidence alone. So this includes ghost orbs, ghost writing, and evil. I'm actually going to alter the challenge just a little bit. We'll still have the main focus be the passive evidence that was required, but it's going to do something a little bit different. Allow me to explain. I want the passive evidence to be something that I need to see in order to unlock the rest of my equipment. So in essence, it's going to be a regular playthrough, but it's just going to take some time. So in this scenario, let's say we're looking for a spirit. It requires EMF activity, evil, and spirit box activity. Let's say, for the purposes of this explanation, that I get pushed, or something gets slapped out of my hands. And I think, oh no, uh, it's it's got to be a shade. And I go for a thermometer. If that thermometer doesn't work and just is a vestigial piece that I do not need, I'm pretty well waiting until the next time that this ghost is evil. And then I have to make sure that I choose the right piece of equipment so I can try to find this ding-dang ghost. So again, it starts off as a passive evidence hunt, but it will turn into a regular playthrough. Okay, guys. Let's dive in. What a perfect place to choose. Why not start with the map that I actually died on in the last playthrough I had? Well, I'm here! I'm back! Unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, things are, uh, still spooky. I still hate it here. But, um, uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. Really don't like the fact that I am here. In fact, I am absolutely terrified because I have no means of getting around if the lights go out. So, uh, yeah, this will be fun. Oh, for crying out loud. The power's already out. Isn't that great? Well, should I even attempt to go and turn the little lights back on? I can try. This seems like a fool's errand and a half. Oh, I made it. That's good. Now, where is the spooky interloper? Well, I saw that. Saw movement. Don't like it. May have to run. Because I don't... Oh, oh boy. Yup. It might be running time, folks. Don't want that to happen. Oh, yep, there you are. I see you. Let's just, uh, let's just move away. Okay. That's fine. Past the first trial. And I didn't see anything, so that's not good. Uh... Okay. What was that? No! It laughs? I didn't see that in the last playthrough I had. Just do some ghost writing or some ghost orbs or push me, I don't care. Means I get a piece of evidence, or sorry, a piece of equipment back. <gasps> ghost writing! Go, 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 go. Um, okay, so... Ghost writing. What could we choose... to assist us? You know what? Instead of choosing one of these pieces of equipment here, like the thermometer, the spirit box, or the EMF, I'm actually gonna go with the night vision goggles because I think that might be a little bit more our speed, just so I don't get caught in absolute darkness here. So at least I have something to combat the spookies. I am ready for you now. I need you to do something else. Preferably not attack me. So we had the ghost writing. That was good. I need something else. If you do more ghost writing, it means I can potentially go get another piece of equipment. So 
Well, that's good. I hate it here, I swear. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and I'm in a really bad spot, too, to get attacked. Well, actually, no, it's not a terrible spot to get attacked, because I can see it coming from both ways. But, uh... Yeah, that's a problem. That's the problem I'm talking about here. Let's, uh, let's rectify that situation yet again. As I was saying, um... I'm in a really bad spot, or at least it used to be a really bad spot to get attacked. So I don't like my prospects here. Okay, so ghostwriting. But what else? Oh boy, we're gonna get whatever else very soon. Oh boy. I'm not gonna guess any ghosts yet. It's very standoffish. I just don't want to move from the spot. This is actually kind of okay. <laughs> Come on. Ghost orbs. More ghost riding. Maybe an evil push or two. <laughs> okay. Yep. I don't like the walking. Oh, there's a push. Okay. We're going outside real quick. Just real quick for a second. I'll be back. Okay, so evil. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, we have three options. It's either a demon and it needs spirit box activity. It's a shy and it needs thermometer activity. Or it's a debuck and I need ghost orbs. I'm going to hedge my bets. Let's go with the demon. I'm going to choose the spirit box and see if uh, we get lucky. Oh, well, the lights are out. That's not good. Um, let's just change that real quick can. Oh, oh, there's another piece of evidence. We can go and get more. Um, you know what? Let's do that. Let's take that option. Anytime we can get out of here is a good thing. Um, just to cover my bases, I am going to take in a thermometer just in case. And, uh, yeah, that should round out the investigation. Go, 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 go. Running. So far so good. All right, let's start talking. <laughs> okay! Goodbye, Mr. Demon! Why is it a demon every time? Well, that was, uh, that was an interesting run, especially on a map that I, uh, really had a lot of bad luck on. I kid you not, the last two times that I've been on the general store, I've died. So it's nice to get a win, at least this time around. The super scary map is followed by the former super scary map. Well, this might prove to be interesting because uh, as much as this isn't a terribly scary map anymore, or at least not compared to the general store, it's still spooky. Oh, Mr. Spooky Ghost, where are you? I've got eyes on almost every room here. This is actually a really good kind of viewing point. You can see inside of the bedroom, in the kitchen. You can sneak a shot into the bathroom. And you also got the whole living room here, which is pretty well an epicenter for a lot of spookage. But now the real question is, where is this ding dang ghost? Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. Oh. Holy Christmas, that, uh, that made me jump a little bit. Oh. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, now you're really uncool. I thought that was a shadow. I can't see. Oh. 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 That's a light. Where? Oh, I'm lost. Help. Am I in the storage room? I think I am. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so lost. Okay, we got our bearings again. Woo! 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 That was really close. Ooh. Okay. That was horrifying. I hated that. Come on, just show some passive evidence. I need some night vision goggles here. That was horrible. I couldn't see a ding dang thing. Oh man, <laughs> I hate this challenge. What if I hang out down here? Do anything in the hallway here? 
Please? Pretty please? Well, I might get my wish soon. Okay. Kitchen time. What you got for us, ghost? Ooh, orbs! Okay. Cool. Liking what I see there. Just gonna make sure that he is done doing his orbage. I'm going to sprint for the exit. Night vision goggles, please. Okay. We are armed. We can see in darkness now. So it does ghost orbs, but it's not doing anything else. I'd like to see ghost orbs one more time. Oop. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, thank you. That works for me. Just gonna skip past you there and uh, grab another piece of technology. And my choice is going to be... I'm gonna hedge my bet on the EMF. I'm gonna place it right here. Turn that back on. And I will wait and see if I got lucky. I have a bad feeling that I hedged my bet on the wrong horse here. Yep, I was wrong. There's the ghost, and the EMF did absolutely nothing. Typical. Okay, well, I need some ghost orbs, please. I need to go get another piece of equipment, since clearly I guessed wrong on the, uh, the EMF there. This is kind of a weird ghost. It's just tiptoeing around me, except I got really close that one time, and I was absolutely in fear of my life. I'm starting to eliminate some ghosts in my head here, because I haven't gotten any evil pushes or ghost riding. There go the lights, though. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's just turn this back on. You can stop being creepy for just a second. That'd be mighty fine. I need you to do less creepy and more present evidence E. I guess I have to wait for more ghost orbs at this rate, because that's the only thing you're going to do, so... Ghost orbs, please? It worked the last time I asked. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I hated that. Oh, man, the knocking is horrible. Uh, I'm guessing that... Yeah, you really like that closet. What the heck? Is that something I need to keep my eyes open for? Is you're just going to sneak into the closet every time? It's like a child. Okay. It's like a child that wants to play hide and seek the whole time. Ooh. Okay. Where was that? What the heck is going on here? Oh. Turn that back on, please, and thank you. There are the orbs again. Okay. I'm... Oh, man. More ominous music. This ghost is really, really quiet. Uh, I'm gonna go for... Spirit Box, just in case. I think that might be the better bet here. I'm guessing that it... Whoa, whoa more orbs! Okay, wow, that was close. Well, I'll get to choose the thermometer, and, uh... I guess we'll get to... Ooh, 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 ooh. No! Please! Not like this! Uh, oh, okay, we're going! Let's go get that thermometer before uh, anything else happens. Man, oh man, it's getting a lot more hostile. Okay, if... It doesn't do anything on the thermometer. There we go. I figured as much. So we got a thermometer re Ding. Ah! What are you throwing orbs at me for? Stop it! Please! Go, 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 go! We gotta figure out what this ghost is real quick, because this is getting a little wild here. Okay, four options. It's either a Hoopia, and it needs the EMF, which I don't think it is. It's a John, and it needs to do ghost writing, which I'm suspecting it is. It's a Maroi and needs spirit box activity, which I have not really tried in great lengths, but it could be. Or it could be a very, very passive shade, and it needs evil. Well, the lights are off again. That's fun. Guess we need to deal with that first before anything else. 
Okay, well, we'll just get ourselves reacquainted with the corner over here. And, uh, would you stop turning off these lights? I swear! Can you do anything else? You were a Maroi this whole time. Okay, well, we're getting out of here. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Okay, that was quite the battle of attrition. But nevertheless, don't know what the next map is, so let's just dive on in. Ah, uh, the street house. Not a bad map to have a uh, passive evidence hunt on. The only issue is, is that I won't be able to get down to the basement very quick. And considering the fact that uh, it gets real dark in Phantom Investigation now, I uh, <laughs> it might be uh, might be having a bit of a fun time just moving around in general. I'm gonna take my uh, appointed position behind the safety boxes here, and we will uh, await our passive evidence. Well, so far, we've had a very standoffish demon and a Maroi that got a little too close for comfort and gave us all the orbs in the world. I guess that was a good thing that I ran to the Maroi because, yeah, they uh, they make it rain when it comes to orbs. So uh, it eventually became a regular playthrough. Oh, as if on cue. Wow. It's like I figured it would happen. These ding-dang ghosts on hard really, really get their thrills on turning the lights off. At least I can see out the window, and I know where the door is, so if I have to book it for whatever reason... I... Okay, we're just gonna go outside for a little bit and just, uh... We're gonna take five, guys. Count on Ryan X to find a way to make this extra, extra creepy. That was in my right ear, and I hated that. Okay, where are my safety boxes at? Am I going the right way? I think I am. I definitely am sitting in a corner. I think I am. Is that it? Are we good? Yep, I can't walk forward. Those are the safety boxes. Okay. So. Mr. Spooky. Oh! Okay, evil. Right, um... That gives me a chance to grab my night vision goggles. That's, uh, that's good. I'm just afraid of moving anywhere at this point, especially with an evil ghost. Um, okay. Well, evil ghosts are a little bit more aggressive, so that'll be good. I won't have a battle of attrition like I did on the last map. If you could give me another push. Oh, oh I hated that. <laughs> I absolutely hated that. Man, the knocking in this game, it it sucks. It's awful. Not the fact that it's terrible, like, Ronix did a great job, but holy cow, that catches you. You're active already? You're doing that already? Are you kidding me? Come on. What are you? You're everywhere at once. Um, well, at least it's being an entertaining ghost. I'm kind of curious to see what the next bit of evidence is going to be. Um, okay, we'll get out, out from the safety boxes here. Whoa. Mm. Okay. Um, the one place I do not want to be near especially in this situation, is the bathroom. So, uh, yeah, you'll never see me go there. What are you? What are you? Stop, please. Actually, don't stop, because that means it's going to be a lot longer of a process here, but stop being so dang dang creepy. Just give me the evidence I need, and then I can go. Okay, so you're evil for a little bit. I don't see anything else. I'm I'm kind of looking for ghostwriting, if I may be honest. I'm, I'm suspecting that it could be a demon or a debuck. They tend to be pretty hostile, at least right from the get-go. Or at least some of them are, because the first demon that we got was more creepy than anything else. Mr. Spooky, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, 
Okay, we'll uh, we'll test my theory out, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna suspect that is a demon. We're gonna go with the spirit box. Uh. Oh no! Oh my goodness, no! It's a talker. It didn't even wait, and it did something. We don't need to go to the board. I already know which ghost it could potentially be. So, uh, oh, okay. Um, we're going to cover our bases here. We're going to get that EMF just in case it is an insanely creepy spirit, which would be very much a first in this regard. So, uh, put that down. And we'll, uh, you're a spirit? Are you kidding me? Holy moly. All right, well, I'll give it to that spirit. He was definitely eating his Wheaties this morning. My goodness. Well, entertaining ghosts do lead to uh, a pretty fast finish, so I, I guess that's a good thing. The street house again. Interesting decision. Okay, well, I don't hate it. It makes it a little bit easier to kind of get my bearings since I have played this map the most. I'm just hoping that the last ghost that we run into is the most entertaining, because at least in that respect, we, uh, we get quite the finish. In any occasion, I will take my position behind the safety boxes here. The couch of safety has proven itself to be not so safe anymore. So, uh, I guess we will await what this ghost has to offer us. I will say that this challenge, even though I have been complaining nonstop ever since the beginning of this, has been an interesting endeavor for the sheer fact that it has really tested my ability to focus in on passive evidence. Because mainly I would just throw down all the equipment and be like, okay, if you do passive evidence, that's great, but I'm mainly looking at my EMF and spamming the other two pieces of equipment that I have at my disposal. So it's a, it's a nice... It's a nice change of pace. Okay, it's in the room here. What the heck and heck is it going to do? The one thing I do fear in all these passive only... Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, I didn't see any orbs there. Man, this thing's creepy. As I was saying, the only thing that I really fear in these passive only ghost hunts is that I run into a jumbie. Because in that situation, I'm pretty well at the mercy of whatever happens during the game because it it could do whatever it wants in free reign and I would have no idea what it is. The one thing... Okay. Um, I was going to say the one thing that I was uh, going to say is that it's fairly quiet, but uh, I guess uh, being thrown into the air and smoking my head off the ceiling will uh, change that pretty darn quick. You know what? Let's take the spirit box. Let's see if we get a repeat of uh, last time. That's not good. That's not good at all. I do not like that you are evil. Can you talk? No. He's not doing anything yet. Where are you? Do you want to play? Can you do something? It may not be a talker. That's a... Ah, oh, Jiminy Christmas. Well, there goes the power. Uh, well, an evil ghost that doesn't talk. It could be a doopy. It could also be a debuck or a shade. Ooh, orbs. Um, okay, we're just going to bust out of here real quick. We're going to figure out exactly what we're looking at. So we have three options. It's either going to be a doopy, like I said, and it needs an EMF reading. It could be a debuck and it needs ghost writing to happen. Or it's a shade and it needs temperature reading. Now, considering the fact that it's been kind of creepy up close, I want to say it's a doopy. So let's go with uh, let's go with the old EMF sensor here. I'm going to forgo the, uh, the night vision goggles and hope to God that I could just navigate in the dark here. All right. There's a... Uh, oh, there's the door closing. That's not good. We got our EMF planted. We're gonna figure out real quick what the heck and heck this thing is. I haven't seen any ghost writing yet, so 
I'm not sure if it's a debucker. You are really creepy. Okay, that's evil. Oh, it was a doopy. See, he got real close and decided that it wanted to uh, wanted to do something super super evil. That's every doopy ever. They get really really close to you, and they just want to make you feel uncomfortable. Well, we ended on a doopy. Hate him, but in this case, I love it because I am done this challenge. Okay, well, that had a little bit of everything. It had a demon to begin with. It had a ghost that was pretty much a write-off ghost. And then it had a really, really interesting ghost that kind of came out of the gate and did a whole lot of stuff that was really, really active, which was a bit of a change compared to the last playthrough I had. And then it ended off on a doopy, which uh, I guess was a little bit too close for comfort. So pretty much par for the course. And enjoyable as much as I did complain about it. So Albert, Gary, and Connor, thank you very much for the awesome challenge suggestion. If you'd like to be like those three and see your challenge done by yours truly, leave your challenge suggestion in the comments down below. But as for me guys, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and uh, I'm gonna see what other challenges I might have in store for you guys in the near future. But for now, I'll see you soon guys.